everyone and welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I have a garage sale haul for you plus an update on my Barbie doll collection. So a community in my area um, was having this community-wide garage sale where um, lots of different garage sales were going on in this city and um, uh, my family decided to go to it and then afterwards we went to the thrift store. So we got lots of thrifting done today. I don't know if garage sailing counts as thrifting. I think it's the same kind of thing. And I got pretty much all doll stuff, all dolls and toys, which is not my intention. Um, I did want to find a shelf because I'm always on a hunt for another white shelf, maybe two more white shelves. But the reason I'm not just going out and buying a white shelf is for several reasons. I mean, the main reason is that I can't find a shelf um, that has fully adjustable shelves and I would love that if I'm buying something brand new for like a hundred bucks or something that to be perfectly what I need. Now if I could find something for free on the side of the road or for thirty dollars even fifty dollars that would be much more reasonable if it wasn't absolutely perfect and fully adjustable. Anyways I was hoping to find a white shelf and I did not. I didn't find very much furniture pieces and um, but I did find some things that I thought I would share on this channel. I'm trying to figure out what I should share first. So I'm thinking about doing it in order of where I found things. Um, so it took me, a, well, first I found these little pearl earrings here, these vintage earrings here for $2. Can't complain. I found these boots and they were on a table. Now I had to pay to get in this place. It was like one of those um, admission things where you have to pay to get access to even more garage sales that were happening inside of a building. And it was a fundraiser for this um, organization. So um, I probably paid like $3 for these because it was $2 admission, $1 for these items. And it was just, these black boots, either from My Life As or some or sort of knockoff, because there were some of those knockoff dolls there, and they just said anything from this pile is a dollar each. And I was like, these boots are a dollar? And they're like, yes. <laughs> and so I bought them, and it just says Made in China at the bottom there, and that's kind of what the sole looks like. So I don't know if somebody can identify um, what company this is. I don't think it really matters, because it's just plain black shoes black boots that I always need in my collection because I buy a lot of my dolls used and or I find them at thrift stores and things so this would be good. I'm thinking I'm going to try it on Cecile see how it looks because she's just wearing some black flats right now and I'm thinking trying them on her to see if these look a little bit more like the ones that's supposed to come with her meat outfit. But one dollar, I can't complain. Even if it's not for Cecile, it's probably gonna work on another doll. Or even in my bin, what, for my modern dolls that I swap up. So that's fine. For one dollar, plus the two dollars, so three dollars, because that was the only thing I got inside that garage sale, which is fine, because it was a fundraiser. So, three dollar boots, much cheaper than I would get on eBay. Before we went garage sailing, I had created a list of things I wanted to find, and one of them were white shelves, and another thing was Barbie Princess and the Popper Erica, uh, which is the Popper, because I have the Princess Annalise, but I really want the Popper, because that's my, her name's Erica, but um, I'm just saying, in case you didn't know, so um, that was my favorite Barbie moving around, Barbie Princess and the Popper. Diamond Castle was the second, um, some other ones that I have, but I've been kind of collecting Barbie Princess dolls at thrift stores, and I recently decided I'm gonna, you know, when I see a Barbie Princess doll from one of the movies, I will get it. Um, because some of them can be pretty expensive on eBay and it's just a fun little hobby and if I find them at thrift stores and then I decide in a year or two that I don't want them anymore I can sell them on eBay and I know somebody will want them so and then also it's I was thinking about it I'm like does it count as environmentally friendly because I'm going to thrift stores and garage sales and searching for them so does that mean like I have an eco-friendly collection I don't know just a thought I was throwing around I thought about making a video on how to have a more sustainable collection because that's what I've been really thinking about lately. And yeah, I'm not perfect, but you know, maybe there's ways to improve. I don't know. Let me know if that would be an interesting topic. Leave it in the comment section below. It might be one of those things that people get upset about, but. So I decided, I wrote a list. I was like any Barbie princess in the popper, number one, Erica, but any Barbie princess doll. And I did find one from a movie that I don't think I've seen. 
and it is this doll here and she looked like a doll from one of the Barbie movies and they were asking a dollar and I was like okay let me double check to see if this is one I think I lied and I said yeah like my friend was looking for one and I'm just gonna double check to see if this is the one she was looking for I don't know why I felt the need to lie but I went on to I literally took a picture of this went on to Google Images and then it came up Barbie in the secret door so I was like oh okay I'll get her because she's a Barbie princess and she's supposed to be carrying a wand or something but it broke off but that's okay it was a dollar it's a dollar that's what I'm, it was a dollar so she's gonna go on my shelf if you take off the skirt she has like another skirt underneath and she can like sit and some magical thing I think she's supposed to sing and I haven't seen the movie but I thought for a dollar I can't complain. So I bought her and she'll be going on my Barbie princess shelf. Next I saw one of these. Um, now this is one of the more controversial Barbies that are out there. Um, and I was reminded of it because of the Barbie movie. And that is Barbie Video Girl, I believe is what she's called. And she has a camera if you can see. So that's kind of, I think this is the camera here and this is the viewfinder screen kind of thing and those buttons here and this is very like 2010s i remember when this doll was released um i was a kid when they released her and i thought she was interesting but i had already had my own digital camera it was like this big though it was like not big at all it was like pink or purple yeah i think i got my first camera when i was like 10 and i used to make like fairy videos and barbie videos and just play around with stuff i've always been making videos um I probably always will be making videos and um, so I didn't really feel the need to get this Barbie because I kind of knew that my digital camera that I had was better quality. But I thought because she had that kind of history that I should pick her up because again if I don't like her then I could probably just sell her on eBay. Now she doesn't have any shoes but these pants are correct and this shirt is correct. This is another thing I had to google but they wanted a dollar for her as well so I thought why not add her to the collection. Um, her hair is a little bit crazy because they had it in a ponytail when she's not supposed to have a ponytail. I already cleaned up these dolls a little bit uh, just for the sake of this video. And then, yeah, so they're, they're in better condition than when I got them. These are the things that I first saw at that garage sale. And I, I'm going to show you what they are and maybe you'll recognize what they are from. Um, I already washed them in my washing machine because stuffed animals is something that I usually avoid at the garage sales. But um, these were in okay condition <laughs> and when I saw them I'm like oh my goodness do you have all of them? And we went through the bit we found them all and she was like oh we have another one and it was something from Paw Patrol. I'm like nope that's not one of them. So um, we have the five backyardigans. They were asking a dollar each, so five dollars for the complete set of the Backyard Agains. I didn't realize they made merch for the Backyard Agains. I really didn't. And when I saw them, I was so surprised. And I was like, for a dollar, I, I honestly, I don't know why I bought these. I have no idea why I bought them. Um, but for a dollar each, I couldn't complain. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but it was one of those things and I'm like, you know what, if I get bored of it in a year, then I can resell it or give it to somebody else. Um, because I think that somebody will appreciate these. <laughs> like, this is just so unique. And the person was like, yeah, we bought these when we went to go see Backyardigans Live. And I was like, I didn't realize that was a thing. <laughs> so that is interesting. Um, do I watch the Backyardigans as an adult? No, I haven't seen it in probably over 20 years. But I, five dollars, five dollars. I literally came back to my car and my parents were like, you have like the biggest smile on your face. What did you find? And then I pulled out backyard again for five dollars. <laughs> I have to see how it goes. Okay, next we went to the thrift store and I'm gonna break it up actually. And this is probably what I found first. But I found this doll right here and she is a Hearts for Hearts doll. I forget her name, but she is absolutely stunning. I cleaned her up and I just fell in love with her. I think. This is like no exaggeration. She might be one of my new favorite dolls in my collection, like top 10 dolls in my collection because look at how stunning she is. Look at the condition of her hair. Now this is after me brushing it for a while and washing it. Um, she does have these, I believe it's called henna tattoos um, on her hand, which is really cool. And then she has this like nose piercing thing, um, like jewelry. And then she has these pearl earrings, which I love which I love uh, because I love pearls. So she is really cute. 
um, and then she has this pink dress, and I know this doll, I don't know her name, but I have seen photos of her, and I think she's supposed to have purple leggings too. Um, and I did find this doll a few years ago, but she had her, all of her hair cut off, so I didn't buy her, and then sometimes I regretted that. So I'm glad that I have found her again, but this time with hair in good condition. Now, if you're new to my channel, you might not know this, but I collect mostly American Girl. And I use these Hearts for Hearts dolls as little sisters for my American Girls. Now I do collect Welly Wishers, which are the same size as these dolls, so uh, 14 inches, 14 and a half, I can't quite remember. But I use these dolls as little sisters for my American Girl dolls, but this one is just so cute. Um, she might be Covey's little sister, I don't know who I'm going to make her, but she looks stunning. and. I'm so glad she's in my collection because she's beautiful and I'm not exaggerating. She is probably like one of my new favorite things in my collection. And I think I might make her a relative of Ashlyn because, you know, I feel like they look similar to each other. So maybe Ashlyn and this doll will be related to each other. Maybe they'll be sisters. Who knows? Um, but overall, so cute. Oh, that'd be cute because Ashlyn is like my one of my smart dolls in my collection. She loves... Um, academic science and she gets in debates with my boy doll Jonathan all the time. That's some lore that I have in the background. So maybe this girl is gonna be like, because she has pearl earrings, maybe like super preppy and super girly. Maybe I'll make her like some Chanel inspired outfits or something. We'll see how it goes. And they can be siblings. But she is stunning. I don't know what to name her. If you have any name suggestions, maybe I'll just go with the name that she's named after. I'll Google search it. Um, but she's beautiful, stunning. Look at her face. Um, Beautiful doll, got her for $3.99, but I also, we had this coupon for like 30% off or something, and then I had a $2 off your purchase, which they allowed you to combine coupons, which is, they don't always let you do that. So, um, that was good. Then next, I got these two Barbie dolls. Now, I did put clothes on them, so these are not the clothes I came with, but I found another Disney, not Disney, Barbie princess doll, and this is Luciana. I believe she's Luciana, I believe that's how it's pronounced, of the um, Barbie Island Princess. So this is the Barbie Island Princess best friend doll, which I wanted as a kid. I actually have a letter to Santa asking for this doll. Didn't receive it, probably because I wasn't like obsessed with it. I just thought, oh, like it's the new Barbie movie, I'll ask for that. But there's some movies that I was obsessed with and I'm talking about all the time. So I'm not surprised I didn't get her as a kid because I kind of just threw it on my Christmas wish list. But I do have record that I did say that I wanted her to Santa. And she didn't come with her dress. So I had this lot of Barbie princess dresses that I found at a thrift store. And I bought it thinking, because there's some cool pieces and I'm going to show you. Um, but this dress right here, two conflicting things. So when I search this dress, um, sometimes it comes up as a Barbie princess doll dress from the early 2000s, like 2000. But sometimes it comes up in a pack with um, other Nutcracker dresses that says outfits featured in the movie. And I'm like, I don't remember this from the movie, but um, anyways, so I don't know what this dress is from. I don't know if it's from a doll, I don't know if it's from the Nutcracker package, but it is a princess dress either way. So I just put it on her because it's purple, and I thought if I find another lot with her official purple dress, I'll put her in that. But for now, she's just modeling this purple princess dress from the early 2000s. Um, so I think I'll add that to my collection. And that was $4.99 for two dolls. Um, and this was the second doll I got, and she didn't come with an outfit either, but I had, I realized when I pulled out the princess lot, because uh, I knew I had a version of um, Erica from Princess and the Pauper, her dress, and that was the only one that I remembered, but I remember I had other princess dresses. And I actually have one of Swan Lake. And this is, of course, one of the newer Barbie dolls, as you can tell from her face and her hair. Her hair is not as high quality as the early 2000s dolls. That was one of the things I noticed. I was like, oof, her hair feels different. Um, but I put her in this dress because if you look at photos of Swan Lake. She has a lighter, more platinum 
I think is the word blonde hair. It's like very light and almost white color. And this Barbie has that as well. So she's gonna be a model for this dress because I'm sick and tired of these dresses just sitting in a box. So I'm gonna put it on this doll and even if I find a proper Swan Lake doll and swap it out um, and then donate this doll later, I just don't want them sitting in boxes anymore. So they're gonna be models. That has been my haul. We got Backyard again, we got Barbies, we got Heart for Hearts doll, we got American Girl boots. So um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. This is just kind of a chill update video. Um, if you want to see more doll collecting videos, this is part of my series, American Girl on a Budget, where I talk about uh, ways that you can save on American Girl, even though there wasn't too much American Girl today. But this definitely fits into the budget category, because I spent, like, pretty much a dollar on everything. But, yeah. Um, yeah, follow me on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. See you all next time.